Jesus is getting ready to be beaten. He's getting ready to be crucified, betrayed, all these things. And yet he turns to the disciples and says, let not your heart be troubled. It's a great model. See, we can get caught up in our own little world and our own little skirmishes and stuff. Be careful about doing that. Jesus, in his hour of need, focused on others. And he said this in John 17, 12. He said, while I was with them in the world, I kept them in your name. Those whom you gave me, I have kept. And none of them is lost except the son of perdition that the scripture might be fulfilled. So when Jesus has you, friend, Jesus has you. It's not like you can slip out of his hands or slip through his fingers. And while we battle, we battle while we stand right in the palm of his nail-scarred hand. Now, that doesn't mean that we don't fight or shouldn't fight or shouldn't be vigilant. The Bible takes great care to talk about this battle, great care to talk about the skirmishes and the things that go on. First Peter chapter 5, verse 8 says, Be sober, be vigilant, because the adversary, because a adversary, because some adversary, no, because your adversary, you have an adversary. It's not me. It's not your spouse. You may think it is some days, but it's not. Your adversary is the enemy of your soul, the accuser of the brethren. He goes by the name of the devil, and he's real. Now, you don't have to spend a lot of time and a lot of focus on him. You don't need to know a lot about him, but know what the Word says about him. Because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Notice it says seeking whom he may devour. Don't say he devours everybody. He's seeking whom he may devour. 